on the night of his awakening, the Buddha had three knowledges. The first was knowledge of his own past lifetimes, many, many lifetimes. But he didn't understand the principle why the lifetimes went up and down, up and down. It was only in the second knowledge that he came to an understanding. He took a larger perspective, seeing all beings all over the universe dying and being reborn. And he began to see a pattern. The ups and downs of the rebirth were based on their actions, their intentions, their views. It was from that perspective that he was able to focus in on the present moment at the most important spot, which was what were his views in the present moment, what were his intentions and actions in the present moment, and could he change them in a way that would take you out of the cycle. It's good to keep that pattern in mind. All too often we come to our meditation with narratives already set in place, and then we try to focus in on the present moment, and it just becomes one more part of that narrative. If the narrative is bad, then the meditation if it doesn't go well, it's simply more proof that the narrative is true. But if instead, instead of going straight from your, your narratives, take a larger perspective. This is one of the reasons why we have the chant for thoughts of goodwill for all beings before we meditate. It's to open your mind, enlarge your perspective. And then seeing the larger perspective, all beings suffering, all beings doing skillful things, unskillful things. Then you look at your own skillful and unskillful actions and it puts a different light on them. On the one hand, you see the, you see the pointlessness of just running around, running around. But at the same time, you realize okay, you're in the same boat with everybody else. And just as the Buddha's teachings were aimed at all beings, regardless of whether they quote-unquote deserve to put an end to suffering. You are one of those many beings. The teachings are, are meant for you. So whatever your past narrative, that's not the issue. It's what you do right now, where you focus on your intentions right now, your actions right now. And those can be made skillful. And it's a lot easier to make them skillful if you take this larger perspective. So just like the character in The Looking Glass who liked to th think of two or three impossible things before breakfast every day, then air out his mind. You can air out your mind by Thinking about all beings, having goodwill for all beings, compassion, empathetic joy, equanimity. Enlarge your mind, air out your mind, and then come to the present moment. That way you'll be able to focus on what really needs to be done right here, and on your ability to do it.